Hello and welcome to Radical Living. I'm your host, Shoeless Joe, and today we are talking about my kids. Boys are hereby declared illegal, immoral, unlawful. Rebecca Gilbert says, I am a 13 year old minimalist in training, as I like to call it. As a kid minimalist, I'm very interested in how your kids feel about being raised as minimalists. I was wondering if you may be on board for creating a video with them where they can talk about their thoughts on the minimal way you live. Hope you consider the idea and thank you so much for all the inspiration. Well, thank you, Rebecca. I have considered it and here is that video. My kids are six, five, and three and have been raised as minimalists for as long as they can remember. Now I've already made a video about the toys that we have for our kids and really that video could use some updating so maybe I'll do that because we've had a Christmas or two since then so the toy situation has changed. Now my kids are too young to really know what minimalist means. I don't know that they've ever really heard the term. All that they know is that dad doesn't like having too much stuff. And to be honest, they haven't really always been a fan of that fact. Lately, my oldest has taken to pining over how many toys some of her cousins and friends have. She'll go to their house and just see, you know, rooms full of toys and think, this is like kid heaven. Like, well, how come we can't have that? But I really do think, as far as I can remember, they have never had a problem with how little we have as a family, how little they have as kids, unless they see how much someone else have. It's always out of envy. It's not till they see that the room is full of toys and they think, oh, oh, this, I could, why, why don't I have all of this? But until that happened, until they saw those things or until they saw commercials on TV with this toy or that, until then, they had no problem. You see the way that I tend to deal with how many toys they have as they get more toys and the toy situation starts to grow, I'll either give them the decision and say, hey, you know, you've got too many of these or you've got a lot of this, which one would you like to keep? So I'm giving them the power to choose. Either that or when I see something that they've been neglecting and haven't been using, I just kind of quietly take that toy and put it in a secret special compartment. Compartment? Cabinet. I put it in a cabinet. So once it's in the cabinet, it stays there and then I wait for them to ask for it, right? So if they say, hey dad, where did that thing go? Where's the one doll or the one truck or whatever? Then I can say, oh yeah, let me go get that. I moved it. Because it was in that limbo spot of this is gonna go away if no one asks for it. Although recently, Erin was looking for something, I don't know what, and she opened up that cabinet and the kids saw the toys. They're like, oh, what? Where? The oh my gosh, give me those back. But aside from that, I think it's a good system. And really in some ways my kids have taken to minimalism. I remember there have been times where we had bins full of play clothes and all these dresses and things and one of my kids was like, hey, we should just get rid of some of this so we don't have so much. I'm like, uh, yes, thank you, winning. And they'll sometimes say, hey, can you give this to the poor, the poor kids who don't have a lot of toys. So I think they do embrace minimalism in a sense, but it's only when they see the abundance that others have and they want that, which I think is completely natural. I mean, we live without a TV and they see other kids with TVs and shelves full of DVDs and they even naturally want that. And so they don't really see the benefits yet sometimes in the fruits of minimalism, which of course I don't expect them to, but what do they do all day without all these extra toys and without all these DVDs? And I'll tell you, they are completely completely 100% creative. Lately, they've taken to writing books and they've been just like, so all these, they've gotten pretty long and they don't know how to write that well, especially the younger ones. So they just draw pictures and it's these great big picture books and they'll, I'll come home from work and they'll read me their book and it's, it's awesome, it's amazing. I never did that when I was a kid, I'll tell you that much. So my kids write books, they play with dolls, they play with blocks, we've taken to board games, we play a lot of board games and card games like Uno and Go Fish and Candleland. So though they don't always like being minimalist, I think it really is benefiting them. But that's enough from me. Let's hear from them, shall we? About how you guys feel about being a minimalist. What's minimalist mean? Have you heard of minimalist before, Esther? No. It means how we live with not any extra stuff that we don't need. Do we do that? No. Do we have stuff we don't need? Daddy. <laughs> that is true. I'm talking about stuff besides food, like 
extra toys or... Oh, keeping all the toys we have. Yeah, and getting rid of stuff we don't need uh, or don't use, right? Do we do that or no? Uh, yeah. Do you guys like that we do that? No. Why not? Because I like my toys. Yeah. And so things can help you give things you want to get rid of me the body. Oh yeah, sometimes I want to get rid of something but you just want to keep it. Yeah. Like what? Do you think of anything? No, I don't remember. What about clothes? Is it good that we get rid of our extra clothes? No. Why not? I love my clothes. I mean the extra ones, the stuff that doesn't fit or that we don't wear oh, so yeah, much. Oh yeah, we can get rid of that. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so when you guys get bigger, do you think you'll keep getting rid of stuff you don't need? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I think, uh, when you keep stuff that gets old. When you keep stuff that gets old, yeah. so you're just going to get rid of it? Yeah. When we grow up. Yeah. What about you, Esther? Um, when I'm growing up, I think I'll just let, like, Doing things I don't need. I'll just uh, like ask someone else if they will want it. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you, Rebecca, for your question. Let us know in the comments below if you are young and a minimalist. You know, if you're not an adult yet, you're still living at home, but you're still trying the minimalism thing because that is awesome. I am so jealous that you get to start this journey so early in your life. I wish I had realized this and come across minimalism at your age. If you have kids and you are a minimalist, how do they like it? How are they living it up? Do they enjoy it? Do they not? Are they resistant? What's the deal with them? So leave the comments in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. Remember, keep it simple, question everything, and stay radical. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. Hello, everybody. What's your favorite idea? Mine is being creative. I just try to think creatively. Now when you look at this orange, tell me please, what do you see? It's just a boring old orange. Maybe to you, but not to me. I see a silly face, yeah. walking along and smiling at me. I don't see what you- Cha, 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 cha. What do you mean? Cause you're not thinking creatively. So take a look at my hair. Cool. I use my hair to express myself. That sounds really boring. I use my hair to express myself. Hello. Give me that one. <laughs> <laughs>